On January 28th, following their lavish $100 million wedding that spanned over 10 days, Prince Maiton and his bride Anisha once again captured the public's attention with their affectionate moments at a close friend's wedding in Thailand. This marked their first public appearance as a couple outside Brunei. Join us in today's video to witness these romantic moments and don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty for the latest updates on this royal duo. Prince Mateen and Princess Anisha made their first public appearance as a couple outside of Brunei. The royal duo looked glamorous as they attended the wedding of their friend, Thai billionaire Ayawat Trivada Naprafa, CEO of King Power Group and president of Leicester City FC. The wedding of Thailand billionaire. At the event, the presence of Her Royal Highness Princess Maha Chakri Sirindhorn and Princess Sirivanavari Nariratana Rajakanya added royal grace, while Prince Abdul Mateim Bolkia and Princess Asima Bolkia of Brunei brought international camaraderie. The voyage of love theme, adorned with stunning floral arrangements, symbolized the couple's journey to finding each other. The atmosphere was elevated by Ellie Goulding's heartfelt performances of How Long Will I Love You and Love Me Like You Do, adding a musical expression of the couple's love. Nuntiza is the daughter of the owner of a company that produces Topson student uniforms. She works in the fashion industry and pursued her education in fashion marketing, graduating from Raffles International College. Aywat completed his undergraduate degree in business administration at Bangkok University and earned his doctorate in business administration from De Montfort University in the UK. Throughout their time together, she has been the woman by Aywat's side during significant moments, whether it was during the tragic loss of Vishai Srivadna Frabaha Ayawat's father, or during the good times when Leicester City secured the championship. Following the tragic helicopter accident in Leicester in 2018 that claimed his father's life, Ayawat assumed leadership of the family business. As the CEO of King Power Group, he has diligently managed the enterprise, including chairing Leicester City Football Club and O Leuven Football Club, even leading Leicester City to notable successes. His achievements made him Thailand's youngest billionaire by Forbes in 2020, with a net worth of $3.5 billion. Iwat shares his late father's passion for polo, a bond that likely forged his close friendship with Prince Martin, who traveled from Brunei to Thailand to celebrate Iwat's special day, highlighting the deep connections formed through shared interests and mutual respect. The appearance stole the spotlight. Anisha dazzled in an elegant $5,000 Atlantis evening gown by Jenny Packham, a brand renowned as one of the UK's most successful bridal fashion lines. Jenny Packham's range extends beyond bridal wear to include ready-to-wear, resort, wear, accessories, and lingerie. The brand's creations are a staple on major red carpets, adorned by influential and celebrated women such as Catherine Zeta-Jones, Angelina Jolie, Amy Adams, and Kate Middleton, to name a few. Jenny Packham's designs are also a favorite in Hollywood, contributing to the iconic looks in Oscar, nominated films like Sex and the City, The Devil Wears Prada, and James Bond's Casino Royale and Die Another Day. Anisha stunned in a deep navy or royal blue gown, sparkling with sequins or glittering accents for a captivating shimmer. The dress boasts a fitted bodice with a round neckline, transitioning into a sleeveless design, enhanced by a sheer fabric overlay extending from the shoulders, creating a cape-like elegance. This sheer fabric gracefully flows to the back, adding a dramatic, cape-like effect to the ensemble. The gown's form, fitting silhouette, complemented by a gentle train, exudes sophistication and grace. Accessorizing her look, Anisha chose the Flower Strass Dual Buckle Clutch by Roger Vivier a $36,000 masterpiece that echoes the gown's color. Renowned for its crystal embellished buckle, this clutch features glittering craftsmanship, a jeweled handle, and a concealed metal chain, making it a timeless evening piece. Roger Vivier, established in 1937 by the iconic designer known as the father of the stiletto heel, has been synonymous with high fashion footwear. Vivier, who designed shoes for Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, revolutionized the industry by partnering with Christian Dior in 1953 to cater to a broader audience beyond the aristocracy. 
His passion for feminine elegance and meticulous craftsmanship elevated shoes to art pieces, collaborating with France's renowned embroiderers. Completing her ensemble, Anisha wore elegant drop earrings, featuring a cascading arrangement of crystals and diamonds with a prominent sapphire at the bottom. Her hairstyle, a cheek middle part with the top section sleekly pulled back and the lower section flowing in soft waves or straight strands, added the perfect finishing touch to her sophisticated look. Accompanying Anisha was her newlywed husband, Prince Mateen. At significant events, Mateen favors bespoke suits from London's prestigious Savile Row, embodying masculinity and elegance. These suits are paired with Ray-Ban glasses and luxury watches, highlighting his refined taste. Savile Row, nestled in the heart of London, is revered as the sanctuary of unparalleled bespoke suits. Home to esteemed tailors like Yves and Hawks and Henry Poole and Cole. Originally serving politicians, A-list celebrities and successful businessmen, the street is known for its rigorous standards in quality design and craftsmanship. Each client receives a personalized experience with 35 precise measurements and over 400,000 customization options, all crafted by hand. For this special occasion, the prince opted for a dark suit with a notched lapel a white dress shirt, and a dark tie featuring diagonal stripes for a subtle pattern contrast. The suit's impeccable tailoring, fitting him perfectly, suggests a formal or business formal attire, maintaining the high standards of royal appearances. The romantic moment melt million hearts online. Despite being a private affair with limited public images, the leaked photos from the event have garnered admiration for Anisha and the Tain's striking compatibility and allure. As one of Asia's most talked about newlywed couples, their entrance at the party captured all eyes, with their affectionate exchanges and mutual attentiveness shining through. Prince Mateen, despite his global royal status, continues to be cherished for his approachable and friendly demeanor. The prince and his bride were seen warmly greeting and engaging with guests, their smiles and handshakes adding a personal touch to their interactions. This wasn't the first public appearance for Mateen and Anisha. Despite their discreet relationship, they've been spotted together at major events, from fashion shows in Paris and dinners with jewelry brand Boucheron to the wedding of Bruni's princess Azima Nimatul Bolkaya and her cousin Prince Baha Ibn Jeffrey Bolkia. They've also been seen at polo matches and various social gatherings, marking their presence as a couple in the public eye. The recent private event and the rare glimpses into Prince Mateen and Anisha's wedding have captivated the public with their evident love and compatibility. As one of Asia's most enchanting newlywed couples, their every appearance from grand weddings to high-profile fashion and social events draws significant attention and admiration. Despite their royal stature, Maten's down-to-earth manner and the couple's genuine warmth towards others have endeared them to many. Their journey together, marked by both private moments and public engagements, continues to fascinate and inspire. For more captivating stories and exclusive insights into the lives of Prince Maten, Anisha, and other illustrious figures, don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty. Stay tuned for updates on the world's most influential and admired personalities, where glamour meets grace in the realm of the elite.